Now back to our big story today, which is no BART strike today. Trains are running for at least this work week because late last night, Governor Brown stepped in and issued an order for an investigation into this contract dispute between BART management and its unions. So commuters are relieved, especially now with that major hotspot on the Bay Bridge. Crown Force Will Tran has the latest now live from the West Oakland BART station this morning. Hi, hi there, Will. Good morning, Doria. You can see behind me people are arriving here. They all have one thing in common. They're very tired because some of them stayed up late last night to find out whether or not BART was going to go on strike. And then they found out that the governor stepped in or those who set their alarm clock even earlier thinking no BART trains. So they would either have to catch AC transit or hop into their cars. When they found out that the governor stepped in, they also lost some sleep because they had to wake up a little bit earlier than normal. You can see here's the bar train arriving at the West Oakland station heading southbound. We got a chance to talk to bar riders this morning. Obviously, all of them very relieved, but they know this is just a facade, a little band-aid, because next week, next Monday, they could be right back here facing whether or not BART will be on strike or not. We got a chance to talk to some BART riders. Here's what they had to say about this entire process. For the longer term, we're going to have to find a solution for this. Um, other other transit workers, other um, uh, uh, public workers are not permitted to strike, and there, there's a mechanism in place in order for these kinds of disputes to be settled in a way that makes more sense. Um, BART really has a stranglehold on the, on the transportation system here in the Bay Area, so striking really uh, is, is a difficult option for us to, 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 uh, to swallow. And Daria, I got to tell you, that man is not taking sides. He's not pro-management or pro bar this morning. Everybody is pro-Governor Brown for what he did. They believe that if nothing should happen over the next week or so, that the governor should issue a cooling-off period, a 60-day cooling-off period. We shall see. Back to you, Daria. All right. Thanks a lot. Let's continue our team coverage, James. Yeah, Daria. Our team coverage now of the BART trains running this morning, which is being received with resounding applause across the Bay Area by BART riders. Here's a video out of Walnut Creek. Creek this morning, the station there where uh, the last strike, the East Bay residents were stuck taking buses, and that meant, of course, long commutes. Cron Force Teresa Stasia was out this morning talking to those relieved commuters. Relieved? Totally relieved. I thought I was going to be stuck in traffic for hours, so I'm happy, super happy. Uh, so the governor has stepped in. What do you think about him taking these actions? Uh, I think it's about time. I mean, to strand 400,000 commuters each day is, you know, unconscionable. So, it's, I mean, somebody's got to come to an agreement at some point. Uh, were you stuck last time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for five days. Two and a half hours in, two and a half hours out. So, yeah, it's uh, much relieved to come to BART and have a only a 35-minute commute.